Right, in this video, we're going to see how to get a confidence interval that um, confidence interval that compares the difference in proportions for two different populations. So here's the situation: you have restaurants in two major cities, and you want to test out a menu item. You offer a small sample to a random sample of customers in each city. You're interested in estimating the overall difference in proportion of customers between the two cities who would purchase this new item. So the responses from each of the people is that they would purchase the item or they wouldn't. So that's binomial data. Um, and we're going to consider a success, then saying that they would purchase the item. Right. So in the first city, we have a sample of 151. And out of that 151, we have 64 successes. In the second city, we have a sample of 246, and we have 68 successes there. Estimate the overall difference in proportions of customers who would buy the product between the two cities, using 98% confidence level. Uh, so the parameter of interest is the difference in proportion. of the portions of customers who would purchase the item between the two cities. So that's what we're trying to calculate. Um, And the margin of error and confidence interval, that's going to be calculated using Excel. All right, so take a look at what we have with Excel. Um, so create an Excel spreadsheet here where I organize the sample data. I've got sample 1 and sample 2. I put in the sample sizes and the number of successes, and then Excel calculates the sample proportions. Uh, so sample 1 will be the first city, and we've got a sample size of 151. And the successes for that are 64. That's actually already in here. 64. So we've got a sample proportion of 42.4%. Sample 2 will be city, the second city. And we've got a sample size of 246. And there we have 68 successes. So we've got a sample proportion of 27.6%. So uh, there's a pretty big difference between those samples. Um, but remember, you also have to consider the size of the samples and the confidence level and things like that. So the point estimate is just the difference between these. right? That's our estimate on the difference between the population proportions. And that's pretty big, 15% almost. Our confidence level is set at 98%. So put that in here. And then we calculate a test statistic. And that just uses the inverse normal distribution um, and uh, uses that confidence level. Right. Uh, the standard error is sort of our standard deviation for this sampling distribution. And it's uh, this formula here, you see, the big square root formula with the fractions, um, but specifically using the values we have for the sample size and the sample proportions. So there's the coded version of that. And then to get the margin of error, we just multiply those two. So margin of error is 0 0.11468. And we get a confidence interval. I have it written here twice, once with the percentages, which is a little easier to read, but then once with the decimals, because that's usually how you answer problems like this on the website. Uh, and you can see we're just subtracting. We take the uh, point estimate and subtract the margin of error to get the lower bound. And we take the point estimate and add the margin error to get the upper bound. 
Right, so we can put those numbers in there. And that turned back into a, there we go. So we got 0 0.03273. And zero point two six two one zero. Now I want to interpret this, um, and you can use the percent numbers when you're doing the interpretation. We're trying to make it make a little more sense. Uh, so we are ninety eight percent confident that the Proportion of customers in let's we can go to this being full screen now. The proportion of customers in the first city is three point to we can just three point three percent to twenty six point two percent greater than the proportion of customers in the second city. And we should probably say proportion of what proportion of customers in the first city that would purchase the item. We're looking at how many of the customers would actually purchase this new item. So here we're wording it in terms of uh, city one being greater than city two, because the way we subtracted it was we did city one minus city two, and uh, so with these differences being positive numbers, that makes us confident that the first city is greater than the second city. And you can certainly word this in terms of the difference and say the difference between the cities is this to this. Um, but I like this because it, it, it is explicit about which way you're subtracting and which one is greater. Um, so uh, that shows how to get those confidence intervals um, using Excel.